we're still ahead on the breakfast show of uh, today and uh, actually towards a digital um, industrial renaissance. This is the motto or the slogan of the uh, third edition of the international annual um, convention and exhibition which uh, inaugurated by His Excellency the um, Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. The third edition of such international convention is really a great indicator that Egypt is on the right track, on the right track for boosting the Egyptian and the, um, the local industry, how to deepen and how to localize the industry, which is actually Egypt is uh, adopting a policy and a strategy is Egypt adopting years ago to booster and to deepen and to localize the, um, the Egyptian industry. This is also a great indicator that we are targeting to um, maximize the GDP of the sector of industry to approach 40% by the year 2030 and instead of 14% now. So this is a great target that we are um, on the way and on the track to achieve it. And for the significance of such a third edition of this uh, international convention, which is also um, aiming to bolster the uh, partnership on Arab, African, Mediterranean um, and international level. Also to uh, shed more light about this, we are uh, delighted to have over the phone uh, our guest, Dr. Uh, Reem Bedir, Professor of Economics, Cairo University. Dr. Reem, uh, good morning and uh, thank you for watching and thank you for joining us. Hello? You hear me? Dr. Good morning to you, Mom, and good morning to your audience. Lovely morning, Dr. Reem. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure to me to be with you. So, the inauguration of the third international and annual um, convi convention and uh, exhibition, manufacturing convention and exhibition, it's a real um, indicator that Egypt is on the right track for boosting investment industry and the, um, how to deepen the local industry. But let's start first of all um, to start to analyze the slogan of this year towards a digital industrial renaissance and how the industry is now actually integrated by the technology and especially by the uh, digitalization, especially when we see many manufacturers uh, being run by robots um, aside, alongside with the human resources. So how you can, first of all, analyze the uh, slogan of this year? Uh, indeed. Uh, uh, let us start with some of the state important efforts to promote industrial activity, uh, which are, uh, we can see it in infrastructure development. The state has invested heavily in infrastructure projects, such as building and the serial parks and special economic zones and improving transportation networks to support industrial activity. Also, tax incentives and subsidies, offering tax breaks, grants, and subsidies to industrial uh, zones to lower operational costs and encourage investment in these sectors. Ease of uh, uh, doing business, like streamlining stream uh, the regulatory uh, processes, reducing bureaucratic uh, uh, um, uh, barriers and enhancing the efficiency of government services relating to industrial activities. Also, we can highlight the skill uh, workforce development. Uh, the Egyptian state established uh, uh, a training programs and partnership with educational institutions to yep. ensure uh, a steady supply of the skilled labor. Yeah. Uh, they are tailored to, uh, to the needs of the industrial sector. Yeah. Innovation, innovation and technology adoption, as you, as you said in your introduction. The investment in the technical education in recent years, especially, yeah, to prepare and to uh, develop in the uh, calibers and carriers for, to, get, uh, to provide the markets with the qualified workers in the labor market. Yes, indeed, uh, we did a lot of uh, uh, training. Uh, um, the state uh, and the Ministry of Industry uh, developed working 
they do a lot of technical training, offering uh, t uh, technical training programs to uh, equip workers with the skills needed for the industrial sector. Also, we have to highlight industry uh, education partnership. We, uh, the state, uh, made a lot of collaborating with educational institutions like Cairo University to align crucial with the industry needs and provide hands-on training. Uh, professional development, providing continuous professional development opportunities and certificates to enhance workers' skills and career growth. Uh, also, I highlight innovation and entrepreneurship programs Yep. which encourage uh, uh, innovation and uh, entrepreneurs through initiatives and competition. <clears throat> incentives for business, the Egyptian states offer incentives to business that invest in employee training and development. Yep. We here mention also the uh, Swedish technical institutes, which really contribute to provide the labor market with the real qualified uh, cadres and, um, um, and laborers. So here, Dr. Reem, uh, coming back to this slogan, because it's essential and really important this year in such a third version or third edition of the International um, Manufacturing um, um, Convention. When we talk about industry and technology or digitalization, how we just can um, promote together, be promoted together or integrated? Indeed. And the, the Egyptian state uh, did a lot of, uh, uh, or take a lot of initiatives to promote uh, innovation, like uh, discussing uh, diverse topics, encouraged partnerships to think uh, creatively and to explore new solutions to existing challenges and problems. Also, improving knowledge sharing. <clears throat> Pardon. Diverse uh, sessions during these uh, events provide opportunities for knowledge sharing and learning from best practice in different areas of industry. Enhancing policy making uh, and, 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 and gives us insights to gain from these sessions can inform better policy making and strategic planning to uh, uh, highlight emerging trends and the challenges visually in technology and uh, uh, promoting innovations and using the uh, AI technologies to facilitate the industry uh, sections. Yep, you're right. And actually, we, we see it uh, so clear in many new manufacturers, uh, such as the, um, the new vehicle uh, manufacturer, the Egyptian-German uh, one, with the uh, partnership of the China, for producing cars, which we actually uh, achieved it, and we achieved the the new Egyptian car to the market. Now, um, now it's we are uh, uh, working in such manufacturers with the robots. In, um, I mean, uh, alongside with the human resources. Indeed, there is a lot of significant stages of development of the Egyptian industrial sectors, as you said, and also. <coughs> The Egyptian state from uh, promoting opportunities like initial uh, establishment, uh, like the early stages involved in setting up basic uh, industries such as uh, textile, food processing, and cement uh, manufacturing, along with the kind of industries that you mentioned. Also, we have to highlight the diversification. Expansion into various uh, manufacturing sectors including automotive, electronics, uh, and pharmaceuticals, to reduce uh, dependency on uh, traditional industries. Uh, moder uh, modernization, uh, adoption of advanced technologies, and automation to improve efficiency and productivity. Also, we have to highlight the sustainability, which is in emphasized on sustainable uh, practice and the green technologies to reduce environmental impacts, uh, b promising opportunities, uh, sectors such as uh, uh, renewable energy, solar and wind power, information technology, agro industries, and pharmaceutical hold significant growth potential due to increasing demand and governmental support. Yep. Uh, Dr. Reem, uh, the Head of State, uh, His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi, gave directives to continue to provide all the necessary requirements to all the industry and the, uh, all the um, requirements of production and industry of top 
sectors of top priorities like of course the industry sector of industry to uh, uh, of course um, to encourage more investment in such uh, vital sector and also to um, uh, to approach the uh, goal of achieving 40 percent of the GDP as outcome of the industry sector by the year 2030 instead of 14 percent now how you can just find the such directives in achieving such goal or such a target? of course um, the head of the state president abdel fattah sisi has revived some of the uh, uh, executive efforts to enhance the industrial sector uh, to provide good opportunities like regulatory reform uh, we know that we have a lot of, uh, we used to have a lot of uh, bureaucratic uh, uh, steps and barriers, but nowadays with the uh, um, leading of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, uh, regulatory reform uh, advocating for implementing regulatory change to create more uh, favorable business environment. Also, uh, facilitate to access to finance. Uh, facilitating access to funding for SMEs through loans, uh, grants, and investment programs. Research and development, like by uh, promoting R&D initiatives to drive innovation and develop a new industrial process and products. <coughs> International partnership, as you said, with China, with Germany, uh, encouraging partnership and joint ventures with international firms to bring the a uh, uh, high level of uh, uh, expertise and investment to Egypt. Also, we have to highlight the skill development by enhancing the training and education programs to ensure a skilled workforce for the Egyptian uh, workers. Uh, trade logistics improvement, uh, in investing in improving trade logistics and supply chain infrastructure to support industrial growth. Yep. Dr. Reem, the, uh, the uh, Egypt has issued the state's ownership document to maximize the contribution of the private sector to be like uh, to approach 65% uh, right away in the Egyptian economy. So, um, and during which Egypt also had adopted many uh, strategies to achieve this. How do you find it through the uh, paving the way for all investors to come and to invest in Egypt, even the, when we talk about the um, Egyptian investors or the foreign investors? Uh, Egypt had worked um, for long years for paving the way for this, I mean, uh, through a um, long network of roads, uh, paving the way for um, improving the infrastructure and providing the uh, fuel and uh, gas and all the energy uh, and the titles. So how you can analyze this and weigh this also? Of course, uh, actually with this uh, manufacturing conference, which is witnessing a number of uh, dialogue sessions and workshops on investment in industry with collaboration with private sectors, of course, uh, to encourage sustainability in energy industry, industrial digit, uh, digital transformation, which is important of the uh, very diversified sessions during this conference to uh, make a comprehensive coverage to address a wide range of topics encouraging that all aspects of industrial development are covered, providing a holistic view of the sector. Also yes. encourage the collaboration by bringing together stakeholders from different fields, especially from the private sector, as you said. Actually, the conference fosters collaboration and enhancing uh, the exchange of ideas across various domains, with the government and with the private sectors and businessmen. Promote innovation through discussing diverse topics, encouraging participation to think creatively and explore new solutions to the existing challenges and values. Improve knowledge sharing uh, with these diverse sessions during this conference, which provides opportunities to uh, knowledge sharing and learn uh, from the best practice in different areas if especially if it is come uh, from the uh, private sector. Enhance policy making because most of the businessmen always uh, 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 ask for 
uh, insights gained from these sessions can uh, inform better policy making and strategic planning by highlighting emerging trends and the challenges that are faced by the private sector to yeah. make a lot of fascination uh, for these uh, private sector to make them participating more in uh, this uh, manufacturing agenda. Yeah, of course, and uh, plus what you have uh, all, what you have mentioned, of course, uh, many obstacles are facing really the uh, investors, I mean the uh, local or the uh, foreign investors, such as the bureaucracy as well, such as the uh, currency uh, problem or the exchange rates, which is, um, have been discussed also by President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and the governor of the Central Bank, Mr. Hassan Abdullah, to um, also to, to discuss the monetary policies, which is also a big challenge for all the investors as well. So how you can find this in your point of view? I think the starting point to uh, both stakeholder engagement, engaging a wide range of stakeholders, including uh, policy makers, industry leaders, academics, and technologists, to foster a comprehensive dialogue and collaboration. Also addressing the multi-faces is challenging uh, uh, through tackling various challenges faced by the industrial sector from different angles, ensuring more effective and holistic solutions. Showcasing uh, success stories, we have, uh, we have the opportunity to highlight successful case stories, and we have a lot in Egypt and best practice from diverse fields to inspire and guide participants, especially from the SMEs. Uh, future trends and innovation, we have to take it in consideration uh, to provide insight into future uh, trends and technological uh, advancements that can help shape and help in the industrial landscape. As you said, we can use robots in the industrial sector. Uh, infrastructure investment is uh, a significant investment in the infrastructure, including both roads and the serial zones to support industrial activities. Uh, policy reforms, which I highlighted again, implementing policy reforms to create more business-friendly environments and attract foreign direct investment when they see that we have a policy reform which supports the industrial development. Yeah. along with the human capital development, technology adoption, and financial incentives. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Reem, um, uh, one of the main, um, I can say, if I can say, one of the main challenges that have been mentioned by the President of the Federation of Industry yesterday within the um, inauguration of the ICME, uh, Mr. Uh, Engineer Mohammed El Swedi was actually the devaluation. So, how you find the devaluation issue? Is it really um, a big change or opportunity for the businessmen or investors to produce um, domestic products with the lower costs and to try to to promote them really to export? Or it's a real challenge and burden for them. Uh, actually, to be honest, it's a challenge, but we can, as an economist, uh, uh, see the problem from different angles. Uh, um, we are facing a significant devaluation, but at the same time, we have different resources from the foreign currency and also to encourage the foreign direct investment in Egypt, which attracts a lot of foreign currencies. Also, we have to highlight that Egypt are embarking a new chapter of the relationships with the different uh, partnerships, uh, not only with the uh, West European partnership and also with the East uh, uh, partnership through the BRICS with Russia, uh, India, uh, Brazil, and South Africa, uh, and also China. So, uh, challenges like uh, uh, the Egyptian balance devaluation can be faced with the new uh, venues through uh, exchange, dual exchange uh, through the local uh, uh, currencies, like uh, with the Egyptian balance, with the um, uh, Chinese, uh, uh, the Indian uh, ruby or ruble, the Russian uh, ruble. So yep. we can overcome these challenges by opening a new uh, um, exchange opportunities with the local uh, currencies and decrease the depending on the 
يو اس دولار يب and especially decreasing the uh, depending on the components or the export imported components in our industry of course this yeah. is actually to deepen one of the, the main egyptian components yeah of course this to is actually the main uh, uh, aim through these uh, industrial events to encourage the local industries to increase the uh, local components from the final product and this will decrease a lot of importing these components from the outside and decreasing a lot of depending on the foreign currencies from the US dollar or different uh, currencies. Exactly, and the only way to strengthen our uh, local currency once again is only production, 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 okay. and approaching 100% Egyptian products made in Egypt 100% with all the components. Yes. Of course, we have a lot of good uh, deeds and uh, uh, products made in Egypt, proudly we use it, and we have to increase that percentage and also exactly. the key, uh, the key uh, solution for uh, depending on the foreign currencies is to uh, expand the export. When yep. we expand our exportation, we increase our uh, uh, um, our uh, um, uh, usage of the foreign uh, currency. Exactly. Dr. Reem uh, Bedeir, Professor of Economics, uh, Cairo University, many thanks for your contribution and your insights and have a nice day. Well, we still have more in our breakfast show, so stay tuned right after the break.